There have been at least 43 Jurassic Park or Jurassic World video games since the original film's release in 1993. The first badge came to Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Gear, and PCs. The license and rights to Jurassic Park caused a bidding war between Acclaim, Activision, and Sega. Sega saw Jurassic Park as a key to its strategy of continued success with the Genesis. Jurassic Park for the Sega Genesis is the first game Sega worked on that utilized silicon graphics workstations for creating the game's visuals. Additionally, dinosaur models and puppets from the film were lent to Blue Sky Studios to use in the game. The game was marketed with Dinosaur Artificial Intelligence, but this basically boiled down to random number generation to choose between a series of predetermined attacks. Originally, Blue Sky Software was set to develop both Jurassic Park and Aladdin for the Genesis. This all changed, however, when Disney saw the lack of progress on Aladdin and opted to work with Virgin Games and scrap the Blue Sky version entirely. All things considered, this may have been for the best, as the Aladdin game we got is a much better game than the Genesis version of Jurassic Park. Ocean Software, a UK game publisher, paid an amount in six figures for rights to develop and publish Jurassic Park games for NES, Super Nintendo, Amiga, and DOS. Ocean put more resources into developing the Jurassic Park games than any licensed product before. Gary Bracey of Ocean Software claimed that the teams at Ocean were working closely with Universal. And Spielberg himself had taken an interest in the game and wanted to be sure the games were both cutting edge and on brand. The Lost World Jurassic Park was one of the last games released on the Genesis. Its gameplay is much more similar to the overhead Ocean-developed game for the SNES than the Genesis original. The game featured many digitized assets from the film. There were many hidden modes and secrets packed into the game, including a two-player versus mode and the ability to spawn human NPCs and dinos to watch them battle to the death. The game also contains some hidden messages left by the developers, including one that names David Hill as the best Quake player on the team. Jurassic Park, the dinosaurs are on the loose again. Now Grant's armed to the teeth and Malcolm's loaded with weapons. They chase down a gallon mindless in the capture cruiser. Got him! But the giant electronic Utah Raptor surprises them. Hey, thanks them. for sticking They're with us so far. If you stay tuned to the end of the video, you'll have a chance to win a free Steam gift card. If you were sad about Atari's cancellation of Primal Rage 2, maybe Warpath Jurassic Park, a fighting game spinoff for the PlayStation 1, can fill that void. Except maybe not, because Warpath didn't review so well, landing in the 40-50% to 50 range when aggregating reviews. The game's music was scored by Oscar-winning composer Michael Giacchino, who you may be familiar with since he is the composer for the original Medal of Honor, Call of Duty, Spider-Man No Way Home, Star Wars Rogue One, and of course, the Jurassic World Trilogy. The Saturn and PlayStation game Jurassic Park Lost World is an entirely different game than the Sega Genesis game. It's a side-scrolling game using DreamWorks' interactive in-house 3D engine Morph X, which rendered the game's 2.5D levels. The game was poorly reviewed due to its gameplay. The re-release under the PlayStation's Greatest Hits banner contained changes to address criticisms of the original release. This game also contained a score by Michael Giacchino. This means that Giacchino has made soundtracks for five total Jurassic projects. There was a real-time strategy game called Chaos Island The Lost World for Windows PC in 1997. It's the only true Jurassic Park RTS to date. It was also developed by DreamWorks Interactive. Lead developer Noah Falstein mentioned in an interview that he found the development challenging due to the concept of the game being an RTS aimed at a younger audience between the ages of 6 and 12. In the game, you control various characters from the film. You set up camp, gather resources, and ward off hunters. Trespasser The Lost World served as a sequel to The Lost World before the release of the Jurassic Park 3 film. The game utilized a game engine ahead of its time and required a fairly beefy PC just to be able to run it. It was one of the first, if not the first, game to implement a physics engine for objects in the game. Ultimately, the game was rushed and reviewed poorly, but fans of the game understood the ambition and what the game was trying to be. With their support, many unofficial patches have been released, allowing the game to be played on modern PCs. There is also a level editor and niche modding scene still devoted to the game. Industry legends like Gabe Newell and John Carmack have cited the game as an inspiration. 
Command Scan Jurassic Park, a dino fighting game, came to Windows PC to coincide with the release of Jurassic Park 3. The game came with a device that allowed players to scan barcodes to unlock new moves for their dinosaurs in-game. The concept is unique, and judging by the brand, may have been intended to be the first in a series of Command Scan based products. As is, Command Scan Jurassic Park is the only Command Scan game or product ever released. Something big is coming to McDonald's. Something of such enormous proportions, it could only be called the Jurassic Park Extra... Telltale Games developed Jurassic Park the game for PC, Xbox 360, PS3, and iOS. The game is released in 2011 and takes inspiration from the PS3 game Heavy Rain. In the game, you take control of an original cast of characters developed exclusively for the game. The game takes place on the island from the first film and precedes the events from said film. The Melbourne Symphony Orchestra recorded 10 songs for Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. It is said to be the first video game soundtrack recorded by an orchestra in Australia. Music for the game was composed by Stephen Schutze. The game allows you to create dinosaurs and run your own park. It's similar in design to SimCity and tycoon-based games. The most recent Jurassic Park games are Jurassic World Evolution 1 and 2. In the first game, Bryce Dallas Howard, Jeff Goldblum, and B.D. Wong all lent their voices to the game. Even Richard Attenborough, Sam Neill, and Laura Dern came back to voice their characters for the game's DLC. As with many Jurassic games, this too is a park builder and was developed by Frontier Developments. Jurassic World Evolution 2's story campaign is said to bridge the gap between the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and its sequel, Dominion. In the game, Players are tasked with containing the dinosaurs as they spread around the Earth. There are two Jurassic games with similar names, Jurassic Park Aftermath and Jurassic World Aftermath. Jurassic Park Aftermath is actually a fan game developed between 2013 and 2016 on CryEngine 3. The game was never finished and its final unfinished state is more of an environment simulator than an actual game. As a simulator, it does an impressive job recreating the environments of the first film. The latter game, Jurassic World Aftermath, is a first-person VR stealth game. The game takes place two years from the events of Jurassic World. Players will spend the majority of their experience being hunted by velociraptors while sneaking about. Check the description below for links to sources for all these facts. We're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers in our first year. You can help us by subscribing and clicking the notification bell. In return, we promise to make more videos just like these. This has been a Game Facts Special. Still here? Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. We'll pick out one of your comments at random to give away a free Steam gift card.